So you want to save money, time flies. Well, I hate to break it to you, if you do not practice strict, strict, and I mean really strict, be just really rest restrictive on yourself, you're not going to save money tying your own flies. However, if you tie the same basic patterns over and over, just and don't don't experiment with other patterns, don't buy other materials, it, it just for the long run, if you tie the same patterns, you will save money. But, you know, in this age with all the YouTube videos showing you the latest patterns or these different experimental things or different, there's so many things going on now in, with social media and YouTube videos and fly tying that there are so many patterns out there. It's hard to just hone in on a few. And it's a good thing to have all those options for you to use, but it's not a good thing for your budget or if you're just starting out fly tying and you are having a hard time figuring out what pattern works with which. Now, this video is specifically gonna be for warm water fly, fly tying and fly fishing uh, because those are the waters that I fish here in Texas. So I have here two patterns, one dry fly and one nymph pattern that I use generally every time I go fishing. It's patterns that I always go to, those are my go-to patterns, and I've noticed that every time I go to my local creeks or rivers and I fish, these two patterns usually get the job done for me, help me have successful outings. The dry fly pattern that I'm gonna be showing is the Lano Bug, developed by Kevin Hutchinson, and a lot of Central Texas fly fishers use this pattern on a lot of our rivers and creeks around here, and it is a very effective pattern. It is my go-to hopper pattern. And the nymph I'm going to be showing you is kind of a Matt Bennett's carpet bomb, kind of, sort of. Uh, a lot of damselfly patterns kind of have that same, use the same materials, you know, some add different materials, use different hooks. Uh, this one, I'm going to be using a, kind of a longer shank hook than Matt Bennett likes to use. And it's not going to have the Cohen's carp dub, just FYI. And I can mostly see it as a... Matt Bennett's carpet bomb. It, I'm just gonna say it's it's closely related to a Matt Bennett's carpet bomb. I it it really just came from me not having the materials to tie the Matt Bennett's carpet bomb and just tying with what I have. And really, that's what any fly tire should do. You tie with what you have. So that, a lot of fly tires will say to themselves too. If you don't have a particular material to use for a specific pattern, you know, if your OCD doesn't get the best of you, just change it, alternate it. And that's where this pattern kind of derives from. It's just an everyday nymph pattern. I've caught carp on it. I've caught my biggest bass in a pond setting from this fly and caught sunfish in smaller sizes of this pattern. And it is just a really good all around nymph pattern. Now, there's also gonna be a little bit of a bonus. You can tie with the materials I'm gonna show you guys. And I'll list those in the description below. You can tie the Chernobyl Ant. Uh, I've already tied it before and I've showed it in a in a previous video, actually my first ever video, and you can tie that pattern from the materials that I listed. So actually this is really a three fly video. So you can tie three flies if you want to, but the only difference is adding the deer hair for the Lano bug. Now for materials, I've gone super, super cheapo on the materials, and I actually found out that you can get all of this materials for $25. Yes, $25 I've priced out and search and you're not going to get the super expensive hooks you know go over the materials that you'll need to tie these two three flies so first on the list will be blood cool marabou very 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 good material that you can tie numerous flies with and i absolutely love the action this provides on the water you're going to need this for the nymph, the nymph pattern so blood cool marabou one of the most expensive materials on the list it, pack like this runs about four bucks. Uh, I priced it out to 408. Uh, that, I, that was the lowest I saw online. So, play cool marabou. You are going to need some rubber legs. Now, I have here centipede legs from um, Montana Fly Company. You can use any rubber leg material that you want or that you have. I just like these centipede legs because they're really supple. And I found a pack of rubber legs generally runs about three bucks. So three bucks for some rubber legs. You are going to need some hooks. Now, this is where the budget savings kicks in. So a regular pair, a regular pair, regular pack of hooks 
200R is the hooks that I'll be using for this, for both of these flies. Thing about the 200R, it is a 3X long dry fly and nymph hook. Now, here's a little secret. You can buy the Umqua series 3X long hooks. They are actually the, uh, yeah, they're the Umqua series 3XL hooks that you can buy 50, 50 hooks for $6.70. Now, I have actually used those hooks before, but I'm trying to finish this pack of 200R hooks, and if I didn't have these, I would be using the Uncle Series hooks. 50 hooks for $6.70. You just, you can't beat that. I mean, it, sure, it's not gonna be the latest and greatest hooks, you know, but you know, I'm just an average guy who catches fish, and sometimes. And I'm just out there to have a good time. So if you want to buy the super expensive hooks, go for it. But I've allotted the Umco Series 3XL long hook for this particular video. So you're going to need some deer hair. If you choose to tie the lano bug, you'll need some deer hair. Now any deer hair or elk hair for that matter will work for the wing. Uh, I've priced out some deer hair, Wapsi, just any run-of-the-mill deer hair work. You don't have to get super specific with it. You know, it's not, you're not going to type, you're not going to be tying Combera Duns, unless, you know, that's what you have and use it. But cheap piece of uh, deer hair, three bucks. You're also going to need some thread. Any thread will do. I'm just going to tie this with 80 thread. Just any color is going to work. Uh, I've got olive here. So you need some thread. Thread runs you about three bucks. You are also going to need some fly foam. So this is going to be for the Lano bug and the uh, Chernobyl ant, if you choose to try the Chernobyl ant. And this is going to run you about two bucks. Uh, I use two millimeter thick uh, fly foam. It just works out well for me. Pack will tie you, a pack of this will tie you quite a bit amount of flies. So last thing you're going to need on the list, there are some beach ant eyes. Here I have some hairline beach ant eyes in medium. And I'll give you a little hint. Uh, you can use the uh, pulley for the ceiling fan. Uh, you know, they have those bee chain kind of pulley things. Just clip, use, get your toenail clippers, clip off a few and see if this pattern is even for you. So, you know, just a little caveat. No one's going to notice if you clip off two. Promise you, no one's going to notice. So, there's some additional savings if you want to save, uh, let's see, some additional savings if you want to save two bucks and 35 cents. So, okay. So, we are going to start with the Lano Bug.
And there you guys have it. Two flies that you can catch plenty of fish on. Now I tied these both in a size 10, and I have tied them before in a size 8, and I also tie them in a size 6. I generally just use a size 10 and 6 uh, to fit in my boxes, to cover all my bases from my smaller creeks and to my ponds, the waters that I more frequently fish. And it has worked out super, super well for me. It is so versatile just not having the hassle of having to buy all these different hooks. Just one size hook, I can tie my nymphs and I can tie my dry flies, and it's helped me keep my fly tying process streamlined, which is what I enjoy the most. So, hope this guys, hope this helped you out guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.